Hello, Sid Roth, your investigative reporter here with Rennie and Marina McLean. Rennie, we were talking earlier before this show about miracles that you have seen. Yes. Tell me some of the recent miracles you've seen. Mm. Oh, Lord of mercy. Uh, I, I got to give my favorite one of all. <laughs> um, we, was in a meet, we was in a meet not too long ago where we was doing a, was what we call glory meetings, glory summits. We do them all across America. And I'll never forget there was a lady in this church. And um, we, we had, it was a four-night meeting. And so faith is high because, you know, each night it's from faith to faith, right. anointing, glory, and everything else. And what was interesting was we had people, you know, eyes open, ears open, teeth being filled. God does those things. And I'll never forget as long as I live, there was a lady there who had a leg brace on. And I just casually looked at her and I said, um, you can take it off now. And she looked at me. Excuse me. Did God tell you that or that was just you saw the faith level was so high? It, that was, that's an excellent question. Um, my faith, at that moment in time, I had faith to her miracle. Okay, you had the gift of faith you were Working, walking in. Yes. Okay. And I looked at her and I said, you can take it off now. And she heard something on my voice, a weight of glory, power, authority. And she had enough sense to believe it. And she took it off and she started to walk. Well, we praised God, not really knowing what had really happened. Well, the following week, she came to the same church and gave this testimony. She said, um, I don't know how to explain this, but she said, last week when Brother Rennie asked me to take this leg brace off, she said, what you here didn't know was this. What you here did not know was this. I had five inches of pin in my leg. When she went to the hospital and got it examined, they could not find the pin. The five-inch pin was about this big. All they saw was bone. Where'd the pin go? Who knows? <laughs> Do you see many? The, uh, this miracles. is a real creative miracle. Mm -hmm. Jesus, yes, it have, is. Tell me another creative miracle. Case in point, I was asked to preach um, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at a Catholic retreat. One of my favorite miracle stories. And I'll never forget as long as I live. Um, there was a lady who's gone to be with the Lord. You knew her. Um, she was from Virginia. And she died a few years ago. Right. And um, she, she asked She was me, a friend of mine, Ruth Heflin. Ruth Heflin, mm -hmm. yes, that's correct. And she said, Rennie, um, I can't do this meeting because I'm not well. Would you go and stand in for me? I said, well, okay. So we went. The first night, there was 900 people there. And um, the first night, the first night, we had 60 deaf people here. Half of them had no eardrums. They were growing well, 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 eardrums. This is going too fast. 60 um, deaf people. Yes. And how many were healed? 60? All, all 60 of them, and half where, of them had no how, how, how many were there? How many deaf people were in the whole meeting? Do you I know? didn't check it all out. Oh, but that, that's <laughs> unusual. You must have had a deaf school there or something. Well, it, it felt like it, because people okay. have hearing aids and, and half everything. of them, and let's get this other part, yeah, half, half of, of them, them did not have eardrums. Yeah, half of them did okay, not. Okay, doctor, explain that one for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God can do those things. And that's only the first part. And we had over, we had over um, if I remember rightly, about 12 wheelchairs emptied, crutches and sticks left and everything else. All that was good and uh, so many other things. But the most important miracle that took place that night was this. Well, I shouldn't say the most important. The most significant miracle that took place this night was this. I was walking off the platform and this lady runs up to me. She says to me, Brother Rennie, look in my mouth. Now, we've seen the Lord fill people's teeth, so it's not strange. So I looked in her mouth, you know, and I couldn't see anything that mm -hmm. uh, appeared to be wrong. And I said, well, um, she said, well, Brother Rennie, can you see what God's done for me? I said, well, darling, no, I really can't. And she said, look again. And I looked. I said, darling, I really don't know what I'm looking for. And she said, Brother Rennie, you really don't know what God's done to you? I said, no. She said, Brother Rennie, before I came to this meeting, I never had one teeth in my head. None? And, not none. She and, was toothless? A toothless tiger in the true sense of the word. I mean, in the true sense <laughs> of the word. And what did you see when you looked in her mouth? All I saw, you know when you see a child teething and you see the teeth coming through the gums? Yes. I was watching a 48-year-old woman teeth. The following night, she came to the service and she brought her dentist who had known her obviously for years. And he came and said, now, which one of you is Dr. Rennie McLean? And I said, well, it depends on what you want him for, you know, because <laughs> I wasn't going to own up to anything. And he said to me, because we want to verify something. I said, sir, well, I'm Rennie McLean. I said, what would you like to verify? I said, I've known this woman for 20 years. And I said, I'm here to document and to tell you that this woman at 48 years of age is on her second set of teeth. He said, I'm here to verify it. So we explained, Brother Sid, that 
God can do creative miracles. Because you know what? He just hit my spirit, brother. Say, can I just, just say what comes to my spirit? See, God is the only person that has the blueprint of creation. He knows exactly how you make. That's why when God heals, there's no mistake. Because he know he designed your body. He's the architect of it. He knows your body. And, you know, when you think that everything about creation was spoken by a word, so that means if it was spoken by a word, that means everything exists by frequency. So that means if I speak fear to your body, your body's going to react because that's not the frequency it was spoken into being on. So we teach that faith is the frequency of God. So we teach people how you've got to watch what you say. Watch what you say because your words are powerful. Your words are the currency of your life. That's why the Bible says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. What you say creates. What you say can make. And I'm aware of the power of a word. They say that when you break down someone's voice, you know, they say that on our actual voice, there's actual matter on our voice. My so goodness. you imagine that there's matter on our so voice. So science is catching up a little science bit. Science is catching up a little bit of the spiritual supernatural realm. Supernatural mm. realm. Yes. So imagine. Well, I have to ask you a question. Sure. What was going on in the atmosphere to yes. cause all? I'm still back to those eardrums. Mm. Sure. To cause all sure. of those eardrums. I'm back to those teeth. The sure. toothless woman having full sure. set of teeth. Sure. What was going on in the atmosphere? It was. I can remember as if it were yesterday. It was high worship. The people, because we teach people this, that when you worship, worship's not about you. It's not about what yeah. you're going through. And when you stand before God, he sees what you're going through and gives you what you're believing for. I am believe, cases, I'll tell you what I'm believing for right now. I am believing there will be high worship when we come back. Marina is going to worship God. Amen. And I am believing that we will be in a high realm of God's glory. Amen. And I am believing that all things are possible. I know you're not going away. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of it's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth, your investigative reporter here with Rennie and Marina McLean. We are going to have something happen that I believe has never happened on television before. I am believing, I am pushing my faith. Mm. I am pushing my mm. faith into the realm of God, which is called eternity. And I am saying that eternity is going to invade our temporary realm called time. Eternity has no watch. You saw, Rennie, mm -hmm. in heaven, mm -hmm. body parts mm -hmm. waiting to explain what you saw. Yeah. I saw, I saw body parts in the heavens waiting to come to the earth, but it's as if the people of God have not yet reached out beyond themselves and laid a hold of those body parts and caught them into being. I, I could give you one testimony that Please. illustrates that. In London, England, 15 years ago, I had a son in the Lord who started a church, and he said to me, Dad, I'd like you to come open the church. And I said, okay, I'd love to come. And we went to the church, and it was wonderful. And one of our partners, God bless her, her name was Pauline. And Pauline heard I was going to come preach at um, this man's church. And so after the service, we preached, we ministered to him, then we left. And then on the way out, she said, Brother Rennie. I said, yes, how are you, Pauline? Good to see you. And she said to me, Brother Rennie, I've been to your meetings. And I said, I remember you. She said, no, Brother Rennie. She said, you don't know. I said, Brother Rennie, I've seen miracles. She said, I know miracles happen. She said, the Lord used you to bring me to this room. She said, I know about miracles. I said, Brother Rennie, I know God can do miracles today. And I said, okay. I said, Pauline, when you say that, I know you want something. I said, now tell me, what are you believing for? She said, well, Brother Rennie, it's not me. She said, there's a brother who I've known for a while. I brought him to this meeting for you to speak the word, for you to believe for a miracle. I went, okay. She never told me what it was. And she said, Brother Rennie, we believe in miracles. I said, okay. 
And I knew when she said it like that, she was building my faith as well as her own yes. to get the miracle. And I'll never forget, she said to me, Brother Rennie, I'd like to introduce him to you. And he was a young man. He couldn't have been more than 20 years of age. And he stood before me, but he only had one eye. And I said, well, what happened? And she said to me, Brother Rennie, he had a fight with his father. Mm. And his father stabbed him in the eye. So the eye was so, you know, it could not be repaired. So it of was course. just removed. It was just, it was just removed. So he stood there, no eyeball. And I had never seen this before. I'd heard of it, but I had never seen it. This was 15 years ago. And then the Lord said to me, put your hand on his eye. But I said, there is none. And the Lord said to me, not from my point of view. Hmm. Because the Bible says God declares the end from the beginning, calling those things that's not as though. What I was seeing was a socket. God was seeing an eyeball. And I said, and you see, in the spirit, if you stop to reason and debate, you lose the manifestation. Yes. So you've got to respond when God speaks. That's why the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable, because you can't flow if you're double-minded. So I obeyed God, and I put my, I can still remember, he said to me, he said to me put your hand on, on his eye. And I did this. And instantly, as I put my hand there, lost to me, keep it there. And as God is my eternal witness, I can still feel that anointing in my hand now. And what happened was, as soon as I asked me, keep it there. Miracles are to be received. You can't just say, I want them. You've got to receive them. And I'll never forget, the Lord said to me, put your hand there. And I put my hand there. And I saw heaven open and close like this. And the moment it opened and closed, my hand jumped. And, I, and when my hand jumped, there was something between my hand and her socket. And God said, keep it there. And then he said to me, okay, now move it. When I removed my hand, we had a full-grown brown eyeball staring us in the face. So they're there. But the Lord said to me... Son, you call it. And I said, but Lord, I saw it. He said, no, call it. He said, he said if you don't call what you see because you see it, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Because everything that you see, if it's not called into being, it has no frame in time. So that's why if you don't name a thing, and notice what, what God brought to Adam. He had to name it. He had to frame it. And God said to me, you have, although you saw that eyeball, but you had to name it as an eyeball. And the Lord said to me, call it. And I said, eyeball B. Rennie. The rest is history. You move in a glory realm. Yes, I do. Is it possible yeah. for us humans to be <laughs> in the glory realm 24-7? Oh, yes, is I it? do. I do. So I, I, I know what God wants right now. Amen. What God wants is for Marina to forget about you and concentrate on Jesus Amen. and worship Him. And after she finishes worshiping Him, there'll be such a glory realm that as Rennie declares things, but I want something. Mm -hmm. I want something, and I think you want the same thing. Amen. I want to be in that glory realm 24-7. Can I push for it at that time, Rennie? Y yes, you can. You step in. And what happens is when you step in, 
in the glory, the glory realm is beyond reason. Mm. You don't think, you know, it's there. A amen, it's there. It's faith. Yes, there's that knowing, knowing that God is there. Well, I know that God is going to show up big time. Amen. Marina, will you just forget about us mm -hmm. and worship God? Yes, I can do and that. And I'm going to do that right along with you, I can tell you. I yeah. believe in miracles. I believe in love, the fragrance of His presence is coming from above. His miracle presence everywhere, flowing in the atmosphere. Oh, I believe in miracles. Yes, I believe in his miracle presence is here right now. Reach up and touch. It's flowing from His presence. It's coming from above. Reach up. It's here right now. Your miracle is on. Yes, I believe in love. Your miracle is here right now. Believe it and receive that knowing in His presence that everyone is healed. Reach up, it's yours right now. Your miracle is all around. Yes, I believe in miracles. They're happening here right now. Yes, I believe in miracles. They're happening here right now. Rennie, frame the miracles now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What's possible? Thank you, Jesus. Right now. I'll tell you what's possible right now. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you're believing mm -hmm. is what's possible. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you can believe God for now, that's what God's doing Thank you, Jesus. now. When we speak to you about God, God is not natural. He's supernatural. If you relegate God to your mind, you'll miss God. That's why there's the natural and there's the supernatural. When I say God, when I say Jesus Christ, I'm talking to you now about the supernatural. And even as we're here in the studio, we sense His presence and power here right now. Whatever you can believe God for right now, that's what God's going to do right now. There's an anointing and there's the glory in this place right now to destroy the yoke of sickness, disease, and infirmity. Today, you're going to step over and you're going to move out by faith. We're going to pray. And when we pray today, miracles are going to happen. I spoke to Brother Sid and I said, I'm believing God for the mass miracle. Yeah. Not one or two, but thousands of you to be healed in an instant. You know the reason why? Because God is everywhere present. As He's here in the studio right now, He is in your room right next to you right now, ready to heal you and deliver you. Follow my instructions carefully, please. When I ask you to put your hands on your sickness, 
Don't reason it. Don't let the don't let don't let your head get in the way. If your head had the if your head had the answers, you'd be cured by now. Mm. Get your head out of the way. We're talking about God. Hear me clearly. When I said you put your hands on your sickness, put your hand. If it's a cancer, put your hand on the cancer. If it's different places of the whatever body, whatever the body, whatever whatever body part, whatever the body part is, that's sick. Put your hand there on it. Put your hand there on it. Apply your faith to it. It's a point of contact. And after we pray, act your faith. Even as I'm speaking right now, I'm just seeing cancers disappear. I'm seeing tumors shrink. I'm, it's happening all across this nation and across the earth. Right, now. It's, it's happening. There's, there's ripples right now taking place right now. There's Miss Merkel's going forth from this TV set. But miracles are still happening. Thank you, They're still Jesus. coming to you. And after we speak, if you've got a hearing aid in, while we're praying, put your fingers in the ears like this. After we pray, take your fingers out your ears. Here, you'll be able to. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands on your eyes. After we pray, see. If you have problems with your teeth, believe God. If you have bone condition or if you have a missing body part, I believe God can grow it back. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that. It's, it's time to pray. It's time to pray. You feel it? Yes. I feel it. Are you ready? Put your hands there now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus the Christ, I speak to the spirit of infirmity right now. In Jesus Christ's name, I render you powerless by the word of God and by the blood of the Lamb. And I break the and I break the stronghold of every sickness and disease in your bodies now. I say to those strongholds now, be broken. In Jesus' name. And right now I say to the ears, ears be opened. Eyes be opened. Tumors vanish. Hernias vanish. Goiters vanish. 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 Teeth be healed. In Jesus' name, bones, amen, arthritic conditions right now. I, some of you right now, you just felt like a bolt of electricity went down your spine right now. There's somebody right now, you are receiving a creative miracle in your spine. You feel something going right down your spine. I don't know what it is, whether it be your back's broken or something, but I felt something reconnect. In, uh, there's a moment, right, there's, there's just, just this moment in time right now where I see creative miracles happening now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, Thank you, Jesus. recreate what was injured by the spirit of infirmity. I say to bones, mend, set in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. It's happening. Thank you, Father God. It's, ha it's happening. It's happening. Thank you, Father God. It's happening. And right now, I want you to say this after me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I call this healing mine. I call this healing mine. I call it done. I call it done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I come in agreement. I come in agreement. With the word of God. With the word of God. And I say it's finished. And I say it's finished. Today. Today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right now, lift your hands up and begin to praise him. Thank you, Father God. Begin to praise him. Go ahead, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Give him glory. Praise him. Praise him. The power is going forth. It's going forth. It's going forth. Now there's gushes of the river of God coming Thank forth. Go Jesus. ahead. Go Lord ahead. Go ahead. Jesus. It's happening right Thank now. You, in the middle of you, uh, in the middle of you praising you, God Jesus. right now, Praise experience you, it oh, right now. Get up. Rise. Heal. Rise. Be healed. Hear. Oh, speak. You, Cancers be gone. AIDS. I just saw AIDS, the AIDS virus healed. Thank now you, in Jesus name. Praise God. Thank you, Father God. And give thank God the glory and tell us about it. 
Let me tell you something. I would love to just experience this glory 24-7. And I believe, I frame that you and I, you that are in agreement, will experience this glory 24-7. It's God's realm. I love God's realm. You can have the other. I'll take God's realm any day, Rennie. I know what you two are talking about, Rennie and Marina. Amen.